Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. This is Richard and Kirsten in Las Vegas, technically Paradise, Nevada, at the National Atomic Testing Museum. Or what do they call it? They call it the Atomic Museum, right? And here's what's really cool. This museum is actually in the National Nuclear Security Administration building. It's on the first floor, and then you have the Desert Research Institute higher up. So, I mean, I'll, I'll even show you. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's actually in, seems like a pretty secure federal building. They've got a, an auditorium, a museum store, vending machines, temporary exhibits, and the main gallery. But if you're in the Las Vegas area, you should definitely check it out. Come join us on a little tour that we're doing of the museum. And if you're an Oppenheimer fan, you might want to visit. We're going to do a quick tour. We don't have long. We've only got about 40 minutes until the museum closes, so 20, 25 minute tour. But uh, join along as we check out the Atomic Museum or the National Atomic Testing Museum main gallery. Why does it have so many different names? Sounds pretty know. fancy. They're just going to have to find out. Come along with us. All right, so we got here at 401 and they were already closed for the day, but I said, hey, look, we already have tickets and they found us there. So they said, take a look at this. Um, I think this museum got very popular with Oppenheimer. So um, let's go ahead and look around. What is that? Oh, the Smithsonian affiliate. Probably could have gotten here for free because <laughs> I have the ASTC passport. But we've got Oppenheimer. Remember Oppenheimer? Yeah. Barbenheimer. All the other things. There's a movie going on here. So we'll be relatively quiet. But this is, uh, look at this bomb. You didn't see the movie. But this is, uh, if you're an Oppenheimer fan, this is probably a uh, pretty cool thing to see. Got a little. So this is a model of, yeah. Is that uranium? Ooh. Look at this. This is the Manhattan Project. Carson, you didn't see Oppenheimer, did you? No. You're not going to appreciate this nearly as much. I mean, I know Enough? about the history of this. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you did. Oh, from the world's first atomic reactor. Wow. Uranium fuel. Should we be this close to this? <laughs> Just asking. <sighs> you think there's like still radioactivity here? That's all atomic. Oh yeah, there we go. Radioactive material container. Kirsten, you see there's a tiny container there. This is radioactive material. Why is the radioactive material not in the container? Good question, right? Ooh. Here's a good, uh, good selfie spot right here. Here, let's uh, let's take this right here. What's up, big? Oppenheimer? No, 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 in the middle. There we go. Okay. So yeah, there's a hammer. The high school waste tank closure term. Thanks to the government. Oh God. Thanks for building a government that works better and costs less. That feels a little disgusting to me. Those were the days. <laughs> Maybe they're not familiar with inflation. Um, this is a hazardous waste drum. That looks pretty nasty. And this is the Hanford Reach. Vitrified glass. More plutonium. Because why not? And we've got different rock samples right there. And Kirsten, is this, this is the guy from E.T., right? That, that handled E.T. This is an interesting, I assume this is a Geiger counter. This is a well, no, it's an electronic tape 
used in well drilling straw wall sampling. Lower to the well provides audible signal when it comes into contact. Oh, okay. So it completes the circuit when it hits with water. Kind of cool. But these are the little exhibits they said. This is actually, I believe, that's the size of a, an actual nuclear bomb. That's Fat Man. Hey, Kirsten, I'm confused. Fat Man. Fat Man. Fat Man. Fat Man. Kirsten, can you tell the difference between the two Fat Man? Yes, you're the one wearing turtles. I like turtles. Uh, yeah. I mean, so this is the, we got one more, of course, we got one more lounge here. Let's take a look at here. This is the Atomic Lounge and Gallery. No touchy touchy. Ooh. Very, uh, I'm playing James Bond music. Oh, this is an Enigma machine. Holy crap, I've never seen one of these in reality, have you? Uh, I did in a in another Spy museum, museum once, yeah. Oh, it was like buttons you could press. Yeah. That's an Enigma machine. I guess you can look all the way around it. It's for code breaking. Oh yeah. It's a cryptography machine. And there's a whole bunch of random James Bond stuff. Attaché case. They probably got this from Pawn Stars down the street. <laughs> they probably did. <laughs> Across the city. They probably got all of this from Pawn Stars, honestly. No. This is actually a national museum. Of <laughs> the, the, this, a lot of this stuff actually came from Los Alamos that we're going to see probably, yeah, actually. This looks Russian. That's Russian, I think. What are you saying? We're probably going to see Los Alamos. Mm. You just said that. I said a lot of the stuff is probably from Los Alamos. Yeah. And then you said we're, what we're going to actually see. In, in the, the other event. museum. Ah. The big museum. These are just the galleries in front. Yes. Well, we better do that pretty quick here. Oh, this is all Russian. Yeah. This is motherboard. Hey, Kirsten, where is motherboard from? Russia. Motherboard from Mother Russia. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Are you ready to see the actual museum? Yes. This exhibit was created in partnership with the National Security. Oh, God. All right. Kirsten, you see me on the right? I'm just not wearing a turtle shirt. As you said. Let's go ahead and let's check out the actual National Atomic Testing Museum. That is where we are. Photography is accepted. Cool. Surveillance news. Oh god. Oh, let's see. Terminal in Europe. Oh. Okay. The Rogers Gallery. This is probably from Los Alamos. This looks like straight out of Oppenheimer. Isn't that... Frank Rogers was... I think that was Matt Damon's character in Oppenheimer. Yeah. Matt Damon? Yeah. Matt Damon. Here, Kirsten, hold the camera for a second. Don't know. Okay. Hold on. I want to I get this right so I don't get yelled at by Frank... Rogers. Oppenheimer. Full cast and crew. Uh, Roger Rob. Mm. Uh, there's, there's no Frank Rogers. I guess we're, we're not we're not Oppenheimer time yet. Yeah. All right. I will take that back. What the heck is this thing? A, a Nucleon. This is a Ford Modern Company's 
nucleon car concept. Could have been powered by a rear... Holy crap! Mr. Fusion was real! Garson, look at this. This is a car that was designed to run with nuclear power. Cool. Still be cheaper than gasoline nowadays. Looks like it uh, belongs in Tomorrowland's junkyard. It kind of does. And then we got these little, uh, these little things that send audio. Oh, mermaids. Quarter million Americans are now committed to the Korean struggle. My God, this troop smashed north. Why does every narration from this time sound the same? Because it's the mid-Atlantic accent. Oh, okay. What is the mid-Atlantic accent? They felt that exaggerating their voices in that way would make it easier to be carried over radio waves. Oh, really? Yes, it's a specific way of talking. Welcome, welcome to The More You Know, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. Pacific, okay. Test only. Air to air missile. Oh, on loan. Oh. I guess this is not the National Atomic Museum? No, it is. No, no. That one says it's on loan from the National Atomic Museum. But where are we? That's where we are. I thought we were in the National Atomic Museum. Ground Zero Theater. I wonder what's going to show you here. Hmm. Oh, that's a cool shot. Take a look at the underground testing. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I would say if you are an Oppenheimer fan, this might be the kind of museum for you. Or a fan of Fallout. Look, Kirsten, let's, let's do the exaggerated voice and look at a typical American family. You see, there is the father. There's the mother, and that's little Billy, correct? Yeah. Uh-oh. The doors! They're closing! And look, the J.C. Penney Company's on the wall. Oh, uh, a Geiger counter. Yeah, but if you want to know more about that Mid-Atlantic accent, it's got its own page on Wikipedia really? there. Really? Yeah. Mid-Atlantic accent on yeah. Wikipedia. The, the entrance to this underground tunnel is pretty cool. in tunnels. In the world, are you ready for? Oh. Dancing in Chicago. All right, we got a bunch of underground testing. Oh my, that is a Massive. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is some Los Alamos stuff. That is some Los Alamos stuff. Ooh. This is an instrumentation package recovered from the Nevada test site. It was suspended in a coil to observe the joint from the explosion. Yeah, wow. That's pretty cool. That's the actual uh, instrumentation panel. And then these are the vert. Whoa. Oh my. And you can look down a giant hole. You got a spinny, spinny wheel. Down the hole. It's probably similar to that uh, little thing we saw that knew if the well was wet or not. Hey, look, that's something you don't see anymore on things, Kirsten. What's that say? Made in the USA. That doesn't happen no more. It's cheaper to make stuff in China. For the most part. For the most part. Caution. Ground before turning on high voltage. Yes. Always ground things. Oh, what does this do? 
And that's very stimulating. I mean, it says push the red button. So I must. I think that people enjoy oh. the challenge. The show's already going. Everybody open that would never use Let's see what else we got here. We will watch the test in Japan. International cooperation. The plowshare program. The bomb without the boom. They built a nuclear bomb without the bomb? Stockpile stewardship. They're stockpiling. Ended underground explosive nuclear testing in 1992. Peace around the world. I don't think they've met our warmongering president since 92. How nuclear weapons work. Oh, this is interesting. So they knew how they could properly maintain their nuclear stockpile. Wait, this is some really cool science, technology, and engineering tools. Los Alamos, Lawrence Livermore, and I've heard of Los Alamos. Science-based stockpile stewardship program. So how they can maintain these weapons without doing anything. I think there's not many uh, nuclear samples here, nothing really radioactive anymore. You've got rocket engines here. You've got a uh, reactor. Testing with computers. That looks like a nasty bomb. That looks like another nasty bomb. These are from, ooh. That's a very sterile, sterile looking machine. Curse, can you find anything over there? Yeah. So this is talking about the different labs and places where they're doing the nuclear research, right? Yeah, this is talking about some uh, testing. One, two, three, testing, one, two, three. That does seem similar to the tunnel that we walked through like four, four minutes ago or so. Um, parts of the Jasper experiment. Joint stock physics experiment, Jasper non-plutonium experiment. Oh, thank God. Nuclear medicine, you know, that's the cancer stuff, I think. Oh, wait, this is a new, brand, really new museum if it's got that in it. I'm not gonna say it out loud, but it has to be a rather new museum. That's not in many museums around the world yet, is it? Yeah. That shows you kind of, at least how updated this room might be. Mm -hmm. So this is Los Alamos, this is where they actually still do all the testing. This is where the aliens are, right? I think no, so. no, they're down the street. The David Copperfield Theater at the MGM. That's right. That's my only, I guess his animatronic he's, is a, He's really, really right. I guess that animatronic is actually just a real alien that David keeps and makes perform, huh? <laughs> he makes him perform uh, 15 shows a week. Yeah, seems about right. It's like a very enlightened Furby. Yes. E.T. Barnacle. All right, back to the nuclear museum. All right, which way did the water go? Hydrology in the Nevada test state. Oh, Kirsten, look what we have. I found it. I've been looking for one of these the whole time. This should tell me what's radioactive, right? If you're radioactive. Right, but there should be something radioactive to baseline this on. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying. Turn it on. Oh, 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 wait, did, did it move somewhere? Yeah, it was over here. It moved to zero now. Hold on. So you, it does something. It's on. Let's take the shields off. Okay. Wait, it's off. Oh, that's what you don't want to. There we go. Oh, it's beeping now. I made it beep. I turned the alarm on. All 
Ahí que vamos. Oh. There's some nuclear reaction there. We're not hunting for ghosts. What? You're like whispering like we're hunting for ghosts. Who are you gonna call? Richard with his camera. No. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We do wear these mics all day. Mm -hmm. Actually, here's a good question. You know, they always, sorry, I stopped recording for a second. They always tell men not to put their phone in their pocket because it gives off radiation. And then you won't have kids. The good news is neither of us really like kids here, do we? Kids ruin everything. Yeah, they kind of do. I still can't make it, like, do the real good stuff, you know? I assume that's the most radioactive thing. Yeah, so that's some radiation there. Okay. You can order a Geiger counter on Amazon. I don't know why I'm not uh, impressed there. <laughs> I guess I go to a nuclear museum. I expect nuclear things. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that you don't pull one out when we're going through security no, I have a on the breathalyzer. I have a breathalyzer, not a Geiger counter. You're just Mr. Technology Central everywhere we go. Ooh, that's a big bomb. Oh. And then that's where we exit through the gift shop. So this seems to be the end of it. Let's see what this is. And we'll search back and see if we can find anything else. Oh, wonderful. This is the first time I've ever went to visit a bomb. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Wow, this thing weighs 8850 pounds. Two-stage radiation implosion weapon. Is it real or is it a model? I think it's real. This is like global thermonuclear war, Kirsten. Hey, look, Kirsten, there's a no-no word here. There's a no-no word on the bomb. Mm. You don't have to say that anymore, are you? Well, I think it has a different uh, meaning when you're talking about machinery. No, it just means slow. <laughs> it means to slow down. It has the same meaning, but that's a no-no word. We don't say that no-no word on the internet. Oh, wow. Got a piece of the Berlin Wall. You know, a significantly you know, larger piece of the Berlin Wall. <laughs> Universal <laughs> Studios, Florida. And me. What? And me. You have a bigger piece than that. Not bigger than that, That's what I'm but saying. I have a piece. I have a piece of Mars from this morning. You don't see yeah. me bragging about that. From this that. morning, yeah. What? From this morning, of all days. Of all days. The pinhole neutron experiment. Well, let me show you what I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah. Why is this here? We are in. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, technically, we're in Paradise, Nevada. I'll show it to me in a second. And there's a beam of the World Trade Center. Uh, why is it here? Counterterrorism operations sort resort. Oh, okay. After this, sex. Okay, Kirsten has a shirt that I have to see. We had a blast. We had a blast at the Atomic Museum. Yeah, yeah. Are there any other good ones? No, not really. Oh, that's actually funny. <laughs> Do they have a Hawaiian shirt version? That's the real question, Kirsten. Doesn't look like it. What? Doesn't look like it. If they don't have a Hawaiian shirt, bro. Oh, I like that one with the alien on it. You can get this one. I wear this shirt periodically. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like something you would wear. Oh, they have fun ties. I wish I had uh, decided that I'm not, not ever wearing a tie again. I'm, I, I see no reason to ever wear a tie. I like that one. I've been exposed. I didn't see that one. And for some reason, you can get a sack of rocks. Or what they got here? They've got. Ooh. 
All Avery soda. A dollar. Holy crap. That's actually a good deal. Maybe they're trying. Maybe it's expiring. Oh, Kristen, look, they have a great soda for you to try. Martian Don't poop. Don't tell me it's a PDR. No. Half blue ribbon, no. Hot pink Martian poop written in neon green. No thanks. No, no, no. But they've got, oh, you can get kitty petal. Ew. Fungal fruit. Oh, God. Monster mucus. Worm ooze. Unicorn yak. Oh, Kirsten, you know what that is now. You know what we're looking at there? We're looking at a video. We're looking at a bunch of things I'm not going to drink. And we're going to try them. I'm going to get one of each on our way out. Oh, jeez. Well, this place closes soon, remember? Yeah, I know. Um, but uh, it's an interesting wall visit. We did not. We're going to go back and take a look at stuff without everybody involved. But... Um, for those of you just watching this video, this is Richard and Kirsten from No Pants Profits from the Atomic Museum, reminding you that when a bomb blows up, I it might be the fat man. If it's wearing a turtle shirt, it might be the fat man. What's the other one called? Little Boy, right? Something like that. Chumley from Pawn Stars chases that one. That's funny. Um... And if you're here for the whole daily video, we're taking a nap, and then we'll continue the day. But if you're here just for the Atomic stuff, hope you enjoyed this quick tour of the Atomic Museum. Was it the Atomic Museum, right? In Paradise, Nevada, which for some reason tourists call... Las Vegas. Bye!